there is a new eight from infinix scratch that there are new eights from infinix and they are also as impressive and as competitive as the infinix 08 which i reviewed earlier on the channel the names of these new devices from infinix are the infinix note 8 and the infinix note 8i in this video we'll be taking a look at both of these devices and just how good they are my name is yudi i talk about tech let's shoot hey if you're new here welcome to the channel it's really good having you here and before you move on to the video consider subscribing to the channel it really helps me a lot just hit the subscribe button and that's it you're in also hit the notification bell so you'll be one of the first to know when i upload a new video have you done that okay so i'll have my timestamps in the description below so you can skip to any part of the video you would like so if you want to skip to the part where i talk about the cameras you can so let's start with the brick brother, the Infinix Note 8. It has a big 6.95 inch LCD display with 258 pixels per inch and Gorilla Glass protection. It has a plastic build. It's running Android 10 based on XOS 7.1. It is powered by the MediaTek Helio G80 chipset, 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. It has a quad camera setup, a 64 megapixel main sensor and dual selfie camera. It has a big 5200 mAh battery with 18 watts of fast charging. And this is the second Infinix phone with a USB Type-C port. So the Infinix Note 8 costs $200 or 90,400 Naira. The display on the Infinix Note 8 is huge. As in, you need big hands to use this phone. And I think this is one of the first things you should take into consideration if you are going to buy this phone. It's, it's a huge phone. If you got tiny hands, you're going to struggle to use this phone. Reaching for a notification is, is going to be a journey. The display has a re resolution of 720 by 1640 with 258 pixel density. And at the top left corner of the display is where you find the dual selfie cameras. The Infinix Note 8 has Gorilla Glass protection, but I'm not sure what version as it was not mentioned. Probably Gorilla Glass 3. I'm just guessing though. The Infinix Note 8 has a plastic build and some people prefer plastic because it's more durable but for me I prefer glass even though it doesn't have wireless charge like the Redmi Note 7 from last year I like how smooth it was which do you guys prefer glass plastic or maybe metal let me know in the comment section below or maybe you guys prefer wood <laughs> the power button also doubles as the fingerprint sensor and I actually prefer this rather than having it at the back. If you are enjoying the video so far, make my day and hit that subscribe button. It will really make me happy. So just hit the subscribe button and the notification bell as well. The Infinix 08 is running Android 10 based on XOS 7.1. It's your regular Infinix UI with buttloads of ads. I've talked about this in my previous video, the Infinix 08 review. I'll link it right here or you can go check it out right after this video. I'll link it in the description. The Infinix Note 8 has a quad camera setup with 64 megapixel main camera and 2 megapixel depth and macro camera. It also has dual software cameras, 16 megapixel main and 2 megapixel camera. It's capable of shooting 2K video at 30 frames per second at both the front and the back camera. The Infinix Note 8 is a fast phone thanks to the chipset, the MediaTek Helio G80. It's a gaming chipset so it's snappy and gaming on this device will be smooth. It has a huge battery, 5200 mAh with 18 watts of fast charging. It also has a USB Type-C port. So this phone is actually a well-rounded device. Now for the younger brother, the Infinix Note Ace i And this could well be one of the best budget phones. This is something I never thought I would say. The Infinix Note 8i is also a big phone with a 6.78 inch LCD display with 264 pixels per inch and Gorilla Glass protection. It has a plastic build. It's running Android 10 based on XOS 7.1. It's powered by the same chip as the Note 8, the MediaTek Helio G80 chipset. It starts at 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage and goes up to 138 gigs of storage. Also has a quad camera setup. 
a 48 megapixel main sensor and a single selfie camera. It has a big 5200 mAh battery with 18 watts of fast charging, same as the Infinix Note 8 and also a USB Type-C port. The display on the Infinix Note 8i is also quite big at 6.78 inch, still not as big as a regular Infinix Note 8. This phone starts at $150 or $66,000 naira. And at this price, you are pretty much getting everything from the Infinix Note 8. You will be getting the same build quality, the same display quality, actually even better display quality because the Infinix Note 8 i has 264 pixels per inch as opposed to 258 on the regular Note 8. You will be getting the same software experience, you will be getting the same huge battery capacity and USB Type-C is also on both of these devices. You even be getting the same powerful processor, the MediaTek Helio G80. The only thing that's a step down is the cameras. The cameras on the Infinix Note 8 are better than the cameras on the Infinix Note 8i. And yes, you will notice it. Now, the big question. Should you buy any of these phones, the Infinix Note 8 and the Infinix Note 8i? Infinix really stepped up their game with both of these devices. And you can't go wrong with buying any of them. The build quality, the chipset, the battery, and the camera quality are all very good on both of these devices. And they might well be the best budget phones. Or one of the best, at least. But one thing you won't get with both of these phones is software updates. Now, if software updates are important to you, I recommend phones like the Redmi 9 or the Nokia 3.4. I actually already reviewed the Nokia 3.4 on this channel. I'll link it right here or in the description below so you can go check it out after this video. So, if you consider buying either of these devices, the Infinix Note 8 or the Infinix Note 8i, which one should you get? I would say the Infinix Note 8i. You are pretty much getting the same device for a lower price. And you'll be saving money. But if you really care about your camera quality, you want better cameras, go for the Infinix Note 8. And that concludes my review. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a like and also tell me in the comment section what build material you prefer. Plastic, glass, metal or wood. <laughs> Remember to subscribe if you haven't already and also hit the notification bell so you won't be the first to know when I upload my next video. Subscribe. 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 My name is Yudi. This is Yudi Shoots. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.